Hello gang, hope everybody is doing well. We're shooting a different type of video today. I'm in the car and I was thinking about something that I just wanted to share. And I've actually been uh, at the junkyard just now. Every couple of weeks I gotta go throw away a bunch of stuff and uh, the sun is shining today. Finally, spring's around the corner. In fact, it's kind of here and I'm very happy about that. And I wanted to, I'll tell you a quick story. Um, so in about 2009, I spent a year, uh, a year, I spent a month during the summer in Hollywood. At the time I, I was watching Entourage and I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. And I thought, you know, this Ari Gold character is pretty cool. Maybe, maybe I want to be a, a talent manager in, in Los Angeles, in Hollywood. So I managed to get some sort of an internship out there and uh, I was working with a lawyer and a talent manager and at some point I end up at a 15 million dollar party mansion uh, the guy who owned it his name is Russ he started a little company called Rockstar Energy Drinks which sold to Pepsi for several billion dollars a couple years ago this was his party house, $15 million mansion. He had another house that he lived in, which was only like 10 million. Oops. And I'm at Russ's party house. It's uh, amazing, right? And he's got two, it's a sort of private invite only party. So there's not a lot of people there. And there's like two open bars with these, uh, you know, LA chicks in their rock star bikinis. And Russ comes up to me with a silver platter and he's got, you know, some finger food on there. And I try this finger food and he kind of like goes into the spiel of what it is. So basically he's like, you know, we take the top off the mushroom, we turn it upside down into this little bowl. Then they have you know wagyu kobe beef that they chopped up they put it into the, the like the little mushroom bowl with cream cheese and some other stuff and it was unbelievably good like to the point where 15 years later i remember it like that's how good it was and i think it was the whole experience right i was at this amazing party huge lawn like a soccer field of a lawn overlooking la it was nighttime um the, just the whole thing the food drinks the girls the mansion like it was just a memorable experience and you know in marketing I think sometimes we get a little bit too carried away with like looking for tactics or looking for you know avenues to uh, get you know exposure and all these things and if you go too deep into that you sometimes forget that you want to create you know, memorable experiences and not necessarily that they have to be memorable, but you have to solve a problem for people. Like you don't want to get too carried away looking for the right influencer that's going to give you the exposure. Like if you have a great product that solves a problem for people, that's going to be the big thing, right? Like you can use marketing to get people into the door, but if they just leave right away, then what's the point of that? Like you're going to spend a lot of money getting people in the door and then they're just going to leave because your product does not actually solve a problem for them. At the end of the day, that's what it comes down to, right? So you can do all this like social engineering and you know building FOMO and hype and it's all gonna be useless. You're gonna have one of those charts with, in a, in a best case scenario, you do get a spike and then it all comes back down again. And so that's really important at the end of the day. Come back to that, like what, who is my target audience here? What problem am I actually solving for them? That's you know your product market fit, right? How does my product actually solve the problem for them? Never forget that. And then on top of that, something I've talked about before, which has become kind of um, surfaced again recently, just in my work, is um, you know if you are forking a product, which there's nothing wrong with, like a lot of people fork products and then they improve on them, right? But you have to realize that if you're doing open source stuff or, or if your product is easy to copy, I just said, like build a product that solves a problem for them. Well, if other people can come in and, and, and copy that product, you don't have a competitive advantage, right? So the, the right question to ask on that front is, 
what is difficult to copy? This is your brand, this is your community, and you've watched my videos hopefully on community. I'm not saying that you have a bunch of social followers that don't give a shit about you. That's not a community. Community is a bunch of people you know, in a Discord together or in a group together that want the same thing in life. That's what allows them to build in, to, to very easily build a connection with them because they have things in common. So what is difficult to copy? It's your branding, it's your community, things of that nature. And you have to be mindful of that, right? So don't get too carried away always with like marketing tactics and finding the next KOL or what have you. Come back to, to the basics. Am I solving a problem for a specific target audience? And if not, then how do I do that? And something I've spoken briefly on before is like, you gotta talk to your customer. Like you gotta talk to them. Like literally, I jump on a call with them. Through this YouTube channel, I've spoken to like 30 or 40 of you guys. I know what the number one thing is that you want, which is go-to-market strategy, by the way. That's what everybody comes to me with. They're launching, they don't know what to do. You gotta talk to them. And you know, you can chat with them in Discord, you can chat with them in Telegram, sure. But I guarantee you, because I know I've done it so many times, if you jump on a call with your target audience, literally bribe them to jump on a call with you and just ask them questions to find out more about what the problem is that they're running into. You are gonna be so far ahead of the competition in terms of actually knowing the pain points and knowing what to do with your product that it's ridiculous. And it's so easy. Like I said, I just made a bunch of YouTube videos and then I had like 30, 40 conversations with you guys. So I'll leave you with that for today. If you have any questions for me, um, you know, as far as like content you want me to make or, you know, specific topics other than just go to market strategy, although I can make it a, a lot more on that front, to be honest. Uh, you know, you can DM me on, on Telegram, just by the King, at, at by the Kingmaker. Uh, same on Twitter. You can DM me on Twitter. Uh, with that, have an amazing Saturday or whenever you are watching this. And uh, I will see you guys soon. Hopefully we got an amazing bull run ahead of us and good times to come. Ciao.